hi everyone, Tori Day. It's another fine day, another beautiful day. And today I have a runaway friend. <laughs> uh, he was there in the start. If he did it for the beginning, he would start all this whole thing for America though. And then, busybody come. Uh, plenty of different commitment come. I don't want to talk about marriage and other one. Yeah, you might. Welcome to the video again, bros. So the thing is, we plan to start a segment, and what do you think they will call the segment? The name will be Nigeria. see, Marcy. No, the name will come. The name will come. So the segment. Uh, by the way, you feel tell me what you think the segment will be all about. So for this segment, you know, my my own my own my own speciality, mm -hmm. especially music biz, then mm -hmm. entertainment in general. Mm -hmm. You know. So for this segment, you know, we're just going to talk a lot about, mostly about things the way it happened. Especially recently, especially this past week, mm -hmm. you know, we talk things the way they happen for for Cameroon showbiz, Cameroon entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the past week, you know. So you think so? You think so? You think so? We're talking only about things that happen for Cameroon or even things that happen across Africa? Because sometimes the things that happen to across Africa, we the Martin has said. Martin has said. As long as it affects Cameroonians. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, if it happen for, for Gabon mm -hmm. or for Congo, you know, as long as it affects Cameroonians, we'll say it means, okay, the Naso mm -hmm. means the Gabon. Mm -hmm. If something goes on in Gabon mm -hmm. that affects him, mm -hmm. he's a Cameroonian artist. We'll talk about that kind of thing. Okay. So, generally, it affects Cameroon. Or sometimes, you know, it will directly affect. An artist, mm -hmm. but if a decision that was made or certain things that happened in mm -hmm. that country is something that's going to trickle down to Cameroon, mm -hmm. yeah, that kind of thing. So technically, uh, we'll talk more about entertainment, mm -hmm. music, movies, all that in them. Yes. But then, in relation to where we're coming from, mm -hmm. because, uh, mm -hmm. I know still what the core fan base. Okay. The way the core fan base is. Majority Camonians. But they grow, eh? No, they grow. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, know, but trust me, at the end of the day, say charity begins at home. Yes. It doesn't matter what we try to do, we must first of all think how we impact ourselves, our community. Exactly. Then if we spread, spread that out. same thing now, the thing that elsewhere. Out. Yeah. Uh, but by the time you make a really impact your community, then they really like you know, know that okay. They come for here, they come here and they get this. They come to you and they get this. What, what, do, you, what do you feel about the entertainment industry as of the moment? No, it's gay. It's gay. Yeah. When you say it's gay, what do you mean? I mean, a lot of things are happening. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, 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 a lot of entertainment kind of things happen. You need to see how boys happen almost every, every, almost every time. That's part of entertainment. Yeah, but when you say that if you were supposed to get into a deal with someone, let's say somebody wanted to sign an artist from Cameroon or anything, mm -hmm. and they ask you to wait till they happen, and you say the gi. I don't no, think no. that is a... You, if, you, if you point out some certain yeah. things, then have you talk about, okay, lately most of the artists, they go to Dubai. Mm -hmm. Lately, most of them even come to America. They go I'm a, I'm a Vivid Smith. Mm -hmm. They day London. So they give visa and mm -hmm. other like the fact <coughs> that say this embassy they feel like we feel give the people the visa for can perform for exactly. year and all that stuff. Now, now big progress. Yep. So yep. I don't know. Besides that, any other thing you want? Um, so, yeah. In fact, the kind of as, as you talk and so mm -hmm. now, thing, when I mean say the give, I mean mean like it's like it's, it's happening mm -hmm. and like you talk that thing. So those are things that are showing that it's growing. Definitely. Yeah. Because as you talk, if they give visa, because it, be one point, they need your gifts. Any man, they do research on you and all that stuff, realize that you get potential. And yeah. yeah, and one other thing I feel like we should talk about uh, when it comes to the growth of the industry that's been happening, mm -hmm. we, I don't know if people pay attention to now the, um, um, I don't know if I should say ambassadorial, I don't know if that's the word. But then you mm -hmm. realize so many artists that they mm -hmm. sign deals and with these companies. Mm -hmm. Mike Monster with Chivas, mm -hmm. Tizzy Panchak, I don't remember. Jovi is with, uh, I think, Johnny Walker. Eno, yeah. Stanley Eno get own deals. They're like, most, even they, they really, the one that just come up, the Asaba, the this, the that, they represent some small, small branding, mm -hmm. which is the progress we are talking yeah. about. So, yeah. like, if it comes to that, how you, which do which you think, which you feel about these things that happen for, 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 yeah, it's a very good thing, very, very good thing, because mm 
is better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I mean yesterday, I don't mean like the yesterday, like mm -hmm. the way we in, in mm -hmm. the past, you know. Your artist, they feel at least chop now from, you know. Which way they do. Which way they do. Mm -hmm. They inspire more, more people for, for, for pursue their passion. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not easy to mm -hmm. reach that level. It's very competitive, very, mm -hmm. but at least, you know. I mean, um, other you know, now, you, 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 get, you get a lot of experience and mm -hmm. when it comes to the entertainment industry and music. Wait till you, wait till you be the thing with you say, our artists, because I feel like our, our especially the music sector, don't start mm -hmm. to get the attention with the one time. Mm -hmm. The fact say most of our local brands, they feel like you can represent us. Uh, most of our local nightclubs, and they, they feel like we can play your songs. Most of our DJ, I was with uh, DJ Modelo yesterday, okay. and about seventy percent of the time he was playing Camoyan songs and Camoyans with Go dancing. Ahead. So. Way to be the thing where you feel they don't do one differently because at first they used to be like, Oh no, when I go back for Makosa, oh no, no, oh, oh, but then you feel like the population don't really start relate with it. They happen. Mm -hmm. Way to you feel the artists don't do one differently with their music, we'd make it attract the uh, uh, I want to say, you know, it, it, the, the biggest thing, one well, of the biggest thing we're only gonna we, we've been lucky to have certain songs that broke the Camon boundary, mm -hmm. you know. So, in make them, people say, say, okay, Camon forget international music. Mm -hmm. International quality music, Collé La Petit, that kind of thing, so, mm -hmm. or Hempel, and so, that mm -hmm. way they go out. out. Mm -hmm. In make now, people, they start to believe more, like, they especially when foreigners are into the listener. Mm -hmm. It is deeper in the belief than more. You understand? Wow. Okay, to come on music, this music really can compete mm -hmm. with the international stuff. Mm -hmm. You see, now one of the biggest thing that then the, the fact that we keep having more and more. They were even recently now you see people they when you see people like Kosi when mm -hmm. they drop hit 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 mm -hmm. after hit. Those songs are not only hit in Cameroon. That's true. In French Africa. Yeah. Like, I've been there. I've been there. party yesterday. Mm -hmm. You're mostly French Africans there. Mm -hmm. But I thought I was a Cameroonian. You just didn't see everything. Say everything with it. The way they look at Cameroonian. You see mm -hmm. the way we would they look Nigerian and they say this and that. Mm -hmm. Now so French Africa they look here. Yeah. But I say Cameroonian they don't know. No. Now so they look. So they know all that Kosi them, Blanche Bali, mm -hmm. Jovi them, Stalin. Mm -hmm. They know them. Mm -hmm. You see. So the fact that now we don't give me the way we, if it now impact mm -hmm. internationally. Mm -hmm. It make a media on that sense. Okay, you see, this is this is real, you know. Because now when you go for event, you know, if you be in only camera here for day, mm -hmm. if you be in a if you be Congolese event mm -hmm. or Ivory event, yeah. If they play, in fact, when they begin to say, hey, may they play money bela pala pala for the party every day. Mm -hmm. Now nah, I feel I'm making asking, say, may mm -hmm. they play money bela pala pala pala. Wow. Yeah. I suppose they know even because mm -hmm. no, only wa uh, this uh, the the, the two yeah hip yeah. Hip, yeah. yeah. So that kind of thing. So when it's when it DJ is here, so then. What do you, what do you think is the role of Cameroon diaspora to the entertainment industry as a whole? As 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 we know, mm -hmm. now for the money to come out. You sure say everybody know back home? I don't think I don't. <laughs> think, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think they, I don't think they understand. They, they don't I want to sound like I don't they, think they, they understand. understand. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't get it. I, I'm telling. I'm not sure yeah. they know. Yeah, they think that. So my tell you the mm -hmm. money, the Cameroon entertainment. They come on entertainment, mm -hmm. the money they come on at diaspora. Mm -hmm. So, I but then again, uh, they say they need to appreciate the diaspora and say, mm -hmm. see, like, even what um, Khan Quintus is doing now in Cameroon, mm -hmm. yeah, he's he's he was here, mm -hmm. like, where he worked that money, where yeah. he's going investor, mm -hmm. he's, by, by the way, doing great stuff. Daphne, Steven's music, who is based here, over here, TZ Panchak, Blue Nation, he Blue was Nation, here in, the in Houston. Is, yeah. Mike Monster used to be uh, yeah, a Banganjang. Uh, yep, we based here. Kevin Atem is based here. Exactly. They were getting even a lot of other artists. One of the biggest well. blogs in 237 Showbiz. The guy is based out of the in country. Germany. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Next him in Houston. In Houston. Yeah. yeah. And even uh, artists from French, French region, they get their sponsor there for that. France, yeah. Switzerland, yeah. so on and for here. Yeah. To what I give understand, the money, like, I wanted to say 95%, but I'm thinking of the other 5% mm -hmm. is it from 95% at mm -hmm. least. Come on, I just want. So that's a very important role that the diaspora plays. Mm -hmm. And of course, we will not blame Camoya, you know, say uh, uh, money, no, they pay. Mm -hmm. But then again, now, 
the 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 companies who could in, invest in artists mm -hmm. to bring up artists, they are still they know I still like they still they they know I still feel they say they feel make their returns. Mm -hmm. They feel only organize their show, sponsor the show. Mm -hmm. But they know I really feel they say they feel sponsor some art mm -hmm. this and that yeah. So they just buy a go and them, they sponsor do all that sort of thing. So. And and trust me, you don't just talk at the level of uh, those who invest in these artists, um, mm -hmm. Blue Nation, uh, Creef back then with, mm -hmm. with Mike Monster, and, mm -hmm. and but even the purchasing power, diaspora can easily be that place that those that, that place where you put out an album. Because if Mike Monster put out a song, mm -hmm. if one thousand people feel buy that song, hmm. you know money we make about about seven hundred or that one thousand people. Mm -hmm. Go be na people that where they feel buy them with ease. Exactly. Because yeah, at the end of the day, you don't want to put out an album today. People buy them and then next year they're like, hmm. I don't sure say. But now only people for diaspora have easily buy an album of ten dollar. Yep. Every now and then, and they don't have any consent. Yep. So I used to look at these guys and I'm like, okay, I don't know if you. I feel like sometimes I feel like they're disrespecting diaspora. I feel like they're ignoring <laughs> they're diaspora. Yeah. By the end of the day, they are the, the backbone of everything. And I feel saying that one thing that with the Nigeria sec the Nigeria industry don't discover them. Um, mm -hmm. Because when MI get nas on a song, mm -hmm. trust me, it's not just about MI. Mm -hmm. Now so Nigerian for you know some person, we know yeah. some person, we know yeah. some person. Yep. It hooked them up. Yep. Yep. If I be even talk analogy, another rule way just by you know that the majority of views on Cameroon videos are from abroad. Cameroonians mm -hmm. abroad, not Cameroonians in Cameroon. Yeah. Like the actual video, they most say, you go see so and so and so and so. Go see song. Mm -hmm. Because then you can check that start, and if you see a go see hit song, you get a 2 million views. Mm -hmm. Instead of 2 million views, the Camonians in Cameroon only contributed a maximum of just about 250,000. Which, the which is normal because outside. the purchasing power is not there. They don't have the then money to be watching these videos. But then we, for diaspora, whether for America or for France or yeah, Europe or whatever, will yep. get internet and all that. Yep. Now we the streamers run the views up. So when it's just on time, they need to pay attention to the diaspora or they, they ignore diaspora, they don't understand say mm -hmm. now we with the backbone for the whole thing. So that's a very important role that and, and people can actually make good money from that. Because guess what? Another thing like so many things there about this whole uh, relationship between diaspora and back home and our artists back home we at this at the Shidon at the Asma, they, they they even really understand what did happen. Guess what? You were you're talking about an event you attended yesterday. Mm -hmm. Was it a Camonia event? No. Do you imagine you, say you go for that event, you say I beck on a play me Kosi song? And then they play the Kosi song and they all man for the be like, who, who is that guy? Yep. It's not gonna be in a Camonia and they don't know Kosi. Most of the crowd was probably Ivorian. Yep. A Democratic yeah, Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were there, they would listen to the songs and all that. Yep. Now the small small advantage you have is Camonia artists. Especially those back home, they never understand. Mm -hmm. When some person waiting for diaspora, they talk about your product or whatever, they are not only talking about your product to the Cameroonian community. Yep. They're talking about your 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 content mm -hmm. to a diverse audience where so you never know who will pick it up and run with it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I tell you, I tell you, I you talk that part of the flop, Ivorians, Congolese, Beninois. No, no, me as a part of the only Camonia for there. But they know so be Camonia. You just they say, oh, they take Omani, Bella, and Lady Pons, Kosi. And they play something for there. Then they put the dance. Wow. The Kosi, he said he didn't want to. So they play for there. They play for there. People, they dance. But that's, that's, that's. Now, this brings us to the the the, the question, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, our artists should focus more on pleasing their francophone audience, so like French Africa, rather than pushing themselves and forcing themselves on Nigeria and Ghana and South Africa, the English-speaking part of Africa? The, the, what, what is a fact is that um, English language is the most popular language in the world. Mm -hmm. So if, if your song blows up, we don't have English, mm -hmm. it, it, will, it will get a wider audience. Mm -hmm. So you get a wider audience than if you don't have French. But as I to Cameroon, it has just become more popular. Because, and the, and the point, the, the thing I say, it won't be easier for you to crack that Congolese. That French-speaking. French-speaking. Mm -hmm. So now why that, now for the old man you go. Mm -hmm. If 
Oh, we don't crack Nigerian audience. Mm -hmm. No, you know, is it any of them we phone in there? They sing French mm -hmm. because we know that Nigeria they speak Ghanaian. Yeah. And of course, if you crack Nigeria, you must go to Ghana. Mm -hmm. You go to Ghana, in South Africa, all of those French. You see, mm -hmm. to the end, the reason why people they only follow Ghana because of course the those the the the, the OGs, OG, yeah. the, the the OGs that the other people they all study. Mm -hmm. You see, no, mm -hmm. that talk now mostly because now the market that we don't easy for for for, for, for crack them. So they focus now, now, now. On tea, if I don't talk anything quite frequently, until when we, when we get some somewhere in Benin for English or pigeon, they crack English, Nigeria. English Africa, mm -hmm. Nigeria, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, see the end of them because that time they're going to believe that okay, this thing is really possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they believe that okay, this is the daily Jovi. Because I want people hip hop things. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't follow hip hop things. Until Jovi blew up. With a song called Don't For Quad, mm -hmm. when he rap strictly for Pigeon. Mm -hmm. That time, Pays and Piki believe said, No, you know, if he rap for Pigeon. Yeah. Until he did it. Although we get put they do one, but they, they, they were not yeah, confidently yeah. doing yeah. it. There's this guy, Dr. Cap, I don't know. If yeah, I've heard about him. Very good. I knew of that guy too around that time. But that breakthrough never done be. It that breakthrough never done be. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, now we see people like Mike Monster, yeah. uh, 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 Cleo Gray, and the guys. Mm -hmm. If me, I did add that for my song. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because some are done it. So now the same thing that I talk with that French Africa. Mm -hmm. People they follow them because easy. They, they already know the, the password. So until you can't find success or crack the Eng English Africa, Africa. then you see Anglophone will just move that move. That because be, because it's going to be of course way easier It'll, for yeah. you. Way easier. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is your suggestion? What can we do to actually break into the market if you have that, any ideas? That, that, that is, it's not, it's not easy, especially like Nigeria, they're very conservative. Mm 